This week, I'm going to show you how to draw koi fish in a koi pond. Koi are often associated with Japan. They are often thought to be lucky or to bring good fortune, which is probably why they are depicted in a lot of Japanese artwork. They can be lots of different colors, such as orange, black, white, yellow, or a combination of those. Let's start in the middle of our paper and draw an oval. I'm going to go lightly until I like the way my oval looks. Now my body is going to be curved. I want to make my fish look like it's in motion. I'm going to draw a line on the left side and a line on the right, and it's going to get pointy at the end. Now let's draw our fins. I'm going to start by drawing a curved line and then a wiggly line on the bottom. Remember to draw light till you know it's right. To draw the tail fin, let's draw a wiggly line on the left and another one on the right. Connect those two lines with another wiggly line. Remember the koi fish have very flowy fins, so yours doesn't have to look just like mine. Now let's draw two half circles on the left and on the right side for the eyes. Draw the inner part of the eye with another half circle. Now let's draw the fish lips and the barbels. Those are the things that kind of look like a mustache. Now let's draw the top fin. I'm going to draw a line that follows the curve of the body down to the tail, and then draw another line right next to it. Now let's start thinking about what would be on the surface of the water. If we're looking down at the pond, you might see some lily pads. You might see some grass in the water. Now think about adding some texture. Maybe add some lines to the fins or some scales. To draw scales, Begin by using a series of U shapes. On the next line, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to stagger or alternate the pattern, which means you're going to slide it over to the left or to the right. If you alternate or stagger that pattern, it's going to really start to look like scales. Now, you don't have to do scales, or if you have a different way of doing them, go for it.
color our background, we're gonna use watercolor. For my background, I'm gonna use cool colors. I'm gonna use blue, purple, and green. Start off by dipping your brush in water, lightly rub it on top of the paint, and then let's start with the tip of our brush and try to get the details, the edges. And then once you get those, you can use the side of your brush for the big areas. If you use more water, it will be lighter. If you use less water, it'll be darker. Now, as I start to mix my colors together, I'm gonna let my colors mix themselves. We call this bleeding. So I'm gonna put my green next to my blue and I'm gonna let them sort of mix themselves. Now I'm gonna get a different blue and put it next to my green and let those mix. Remember to use the tip of your brush when you get around your details. Now let's do some purple. Now purple mixes really well with blue, and so I'm gonna put my blue next to my purple and let them mix. Now before we color our fish, remember koi's can be yellow, orange, white, black, or a combination. Before we begin, make sure you get all the paint out of your brush. I'm going to do an orange and white koi fish. So I'm going to start with orange. And I could do just orange, I could do orange with white spots, I could do white with orange spots. It's totally up to you. When your picture dries, you can go back with crayons or colored pencils to fix any areas where the watercolor might have gotten away from you. You can also add a little bit of value or any other details. Get creative, have some fun, I cannot wait to see your koi fish.